Santiago, we're here in Wichita, Kansas. Um, you're homeless, living in a hotel. Tell me about it. Well, there's um, some hard times out here in living in a motel and being homeless. Um, before I got in this motel, I stayed under a bridge before. I've stayed under, um, uh, stayed at abandoned houses, abandoned apartments and stuff. Um, there's just a lot of different things. It's pretty scary out here. Um, there's um, people walking around you when you're underneath bridges and stuff. Um, it's hard going out, pan, uh, um, not panhandling, um, it's hard going out uh, making signs to get money from others. Um, to get in a motel is what I did when I started to get in the motel that I'm in now. Um, I started to go make signs, stand out in the sun, stand out in the weather and stuff um, to get money to stay in where I am. Um, um, almost, How long have you been homeless? I've been homeless for quite a long time, um, since I was five years old. I'm now 22 years old. Um, I've been... It's been very difficult, hard times. Um, How does a five-year-old kid end up on the streets? Um, it began um, abuse in the family um, and my grandma's side of the family. Um, there was a lot of abuse. Um, I got kicked out of there. Uh, there was, uh, I stayed in shelter, uh, cars, vehicles. Um, the At that time, it was winter time. I was very, very cold, so I had to warm up my clo the clothes that I had on my back. And it was just very difficult at that time. I didn't have no food. I didn't have nothing to eat. I was very scared. Um, there was very dangerous. There it was a very dangerous environment that I was in at that time, and when I was five. And what would you want people to know about youth homelessness? Um, I think that people should know about youth homelessness. Um, they should know that um, there are a lot of youth out here. Um, even today, struggling, trying to c come out of an, a, a home, coming out, out of their parents' home, or coming uh, away from uh, abuse, or away from drama, trauma, um, from friends, staying with friends, or whatever. Um, there's a lot of youth struggling out here. Um, there's different organizations and stuff that help out. Um, Quick Trip, it's one of the good places to go to if you've ever struggling. Because um, they have a safe place sign. They have a safe place sign in there. They have um, people that will help you get on your feet. Um, people that will help you get in, getting to um, house or, or, or some type of shelter, at least. Um, What's your future like? My future is becoming a nurse. I am very highly proud of my future. Um, my grandmother was a nurse before um, in California. I stayed in California for a while, but um, she was a very good nurse while I was there. I always wanted to help others, and I believe that I can make it in the future. Um, by next year, hopefully, I'll be in spring class. Well, even through all the challenges, you've kept going to school. Yeah, um, I went uh, through different foster homes and stuff. I went to um, school back and forth, um, different schools. It was hard at times making friends um, and trying now here that I'm in Wichita, I graduated from North High. Um, I kept I kept moving forward. I, I wanted to do stupid things. I wanted to drop out, but I kept moving forward because I had the different people out there to help me and to to keep me on the right path. If you had three wishes, what would they be? The three wishes that I would wish for is, first of all, I would ask for a prayer because I, I believe in God, and I would always ask for a prayer to help me while I'm on the streets. My second wish is I would ask for clothes, clothes and food and water and shelter. My third wish would be to help me and my friend out. Um, with our what we're to help us out on the in on the road um, in the future, help us both out in the future because it's going to be a struggling hard times out there. But I believe that we can make it. 
thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you.